everyone has different experiences. Everyone needs different things at different times. So a good coach will meet you where you're at in your business. Have you ever attended a real estate training and you sat there and you listened and you just felt like, man, like I didn't really get much out of this. It doesn't really apply to me. Maybe it's a training at your office. Maybe it's a training you attended somewhere else. But today I want to talk about the key difference between training and coaching. And I think a lot of people get those two things mixed up. And what I find is that as you climb up into your career, as you develop more experience in your career as a real estate professional, there's gonna be a bigger need for coaching versus training. In the beginning of your career, when you're brand new and there's a lot of new concepts that you need to learn, going to training and showing up to the weekly trainings at your office or you know wherever you work at, uh, it's going to be crucial, right? It's crucial to show up to those. It's crucial to learn the skills, uh, to get the knowledge and get the understanding of how things work. But eventually you will need to graduate to more higher level coaching. And the key difference between training and coaching is coach, uh, training, I'm sorry, is training is really based off a specific topic. You know, there's a certain topic you want to learn, learn about. It's you know, you developing the knowledge and the skills in a certain area or a certain topic versus coaching is really going to be more about analyzing your current situation um, and helping you increase self-awareness in the key areas of your business, attitude, behavior, choices that you have, uh, mindset, and overall strategy, right? So it's two different things. And so it's important to not get those two things mixed up because uh, if you are getting those mixed up, then you could be setting the wrong, the wrong expectations for yourself and you may think, hey, this is not valuable or I'm not getting value out of this certain thing that I'm doing. So before you step into a training at you know your office or your team or whatever setting that you're in next, before you show up to the next training, figure out, is that something that applies to my business at this moment? right if they're training on you know commercial real estate or contracts or rental properties or whatever it might be is that something that applies to where i'm at in my business if it's not then maybe find a different training or attend a different training that will apply to your business right now or something you want to gain knowledge in and the other thing is start to think about well what do i need coaching on maybe i know a lot of stuff but i'm having a hard time putting it all together. And that's like one of the things that I do when I sit, you know, do one-on-ones coaching sessions with my team or with outside agents is I really try to assess where they're at right now and meet them where they are at because everyone is at a different level. Everyone has different experiences. Everyone needs different things at different times. So a good coach will meet you where you're at in your business. So we go through some questions and I usually try to identify, you know, what are the top three things that are most important to your business right now? And so in order to have a good coaching session, you as the person being coached, uh, you need to also participate and you need to provide information so that your, your coach or whoever is helping you can help decipher that and pick through it and, and come up with the best strategy and the best advice for that particular situation. So I had a couple coaching sessions this past week with some of my team members and I sent them a text before they came in. I said, hey, I want you to think about the three different areas, ideas, challenges, or opportunities that you see for yourself or your business right now. So when we started that coaching session, we were really, really clear on what we were gonna discuss and we were able to elaborate and go deep with those different topics. And in the end, I was able to meet those agents at where they were at right now and now they're able to continue forward and now go put that stuff in action. So to summarize this guys, really understand the difference between training and coaching. Uh, they're both great, they're both valuable, but you need to use them correctly and you need to uh, do things that are relevant to your business in this moment. So I hope that helps guys. Um, if you need any help, if you need any advice, feel free to reach out to me. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions uh, as my way of giving back, as my way of connecting with people and building relationships. Uh, go to meetenrique.com and you can schedule a, fee a free strategy session with me and I'll point you in the right direction and we'll go from there. Talk soon.